I look horrible because it's wash day, so excuse my look. But the streets are saying that there is a dupe for Olaplex and it is only $30. Yeah. $30, Olaplex mini system was 60. Today, we are trying the Cream of Nature Plex Breakage Defense. It is three steps. This is number one, the Bond Mender Pre-Treatment. Number two is the Restoring Shampoo. And number three is the Restoring Conditioner. These are all made with argan oil from Morocco and the shampoo and conditioner have castor oil mixed in with that argan oil. It's a three-step system that reinforces weak and brittle bond to strengthen hair against breakage and damage. It's very closely aligned to what Olaplex does, but we also have to consider the fact that Olaplex created the technology behind Olaplex. So this is not claiming to be Olaplex because Olaplex patented their technology, you know? But if we want to consider it the affordable dupe to Olaplex, being that it's a bond repairing system as well, I'm happy to do so. I do have color treated hair that has been giving me hell to stay hydrated. It takes a lot of work and I will be the first to say I am not the best at it. I need to be much better with my care, but that's where these bond repairing treatments come in. And for $30, oh yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna give this a go. And these are all full size. These, the shampoo and conditioner are 12 fluid ounces. And the Bond Mender pre-treatment is five fluid ounces, full-size products. And I did get it from Sally's, if you're curious on where you can find them. Let's jump right in with this step number one. The Bond Mender pre-treatment reinforces weak bonds and helps fill in fragile strands. Salon technology, Plex Breakage Defense System is formulated with strength building key ingredients proven to help strengthen and protect hair on the inside and out for a noticeable difference you can see and feel after one use. So let's see if that's accurate. Reinforces, protects, and maintains healthy hair bonds. Fuels each strand with long lasting strength. Helps reduce damage and breakage for longer, stronger hair. So that's what I mean. I wanna feel like my hair is just softer and not as dry and you know, just, can you hear it? little ASMR for y'all, but y'all can hear it. It ain't a little love, a little zhuzh. Perfect for strengthening chemically treated, transitioning, and natural hair texture. Directions. Apply a generous amount to dry or wet hair. Thoroughly saturate. Leave on for 10 minutes and rinse off. Follow with restoring shampoo and restoring conditioner. Use a purifying shampoo to remove buildup and oil residue. Use weekly to prep the hair for the strength building regimen. For damaged hair, use twice weekly. Listen, these treatments work, but I feel like they work best when not overused because that's when they can possibly damage the hair. You wanna be careful. So I know it says use twice a week if your hair is damaged. I truly feel like we are not able to assess when our hair is damaged. I feel like the best way to assess that is to go to your stylist and let your stylist tell you what's the best regimen for you. Maybe you should be using bond treatments regardless if it's this one or Olaplex more than once a week. But unless the stylist tells you to do so, I ain't gonna be the one to tell you to do so, okay? Once a week is better and I personally use it once every other week. The instructions are simple, so let's jump right in. Okay. Oh, there's more slip to this than I expected. So just a clear jelly-like thing. Smells delicious, like all Cream of Nature products do. So I'm put, applying it to fully dried hair, as you can see. The Olaplex pre-treatment has more of a creamy feeling to it, whereas this one is a mixture of uh, oil and a gel. Oh, that absorbed so quickly, look. It looks like nothing is on my hand. That's insane. Same with my hair. It absorbed right away. It feels like nothing's there. My hair feels a bit smoother, but it just sunk right on in. It didn't make my hair wet or it, it really didn't do much. I don't know. I'm intrigued to see what this does. But yeah, if a gel and an oil had a baby, that's how this feels. And it doesn't specify if I should be doing it in smaller sections or not, but it does say to fully saturate. So I'm gonna put one more pump in this piece right here, see if it makes any difference. My hair definitely looks smoother. I don't see no frizzies. It's kind of just laying everything down. 
making my hair nice and soft, which is awesome. It helped detangle a bit and it feels good. So I'm gonna do smallish sections and do about two pups. Definitely hydrating. Cause when my hair dry, it don't coil. The minute you give it a little hydration, that's what it got for you. That's nice, okay. So let's keep going. Look at that color with it though. See the color? Giving it a little vibrancy, a little, it's like waking the color up a little. I love how easy this spreads out. I feel like a little goes a long way because then it means that the products last. So then we have it for a great price, full size bottles, and it's products that last. Can't go wrong here so far because it's absorbing so well. It's making this process go a lot faster than I expected with how dry and knotted up my hair was. When you do the smoothing hands, you literally feel the knot start to loosen. Once you get to the light separating and raking, the knots is gonna be your friend. If your hair is super rough, don't go tugging at your hair. Just have your spray bottle ready. Since this can be applied to wet hair, it's, not, it's okay if you do it a little damp. And boom, now you have an easier time. We have applied our bond treatment. Y'all, I used a good amount because they said saturate. If you can peek through the bottle, it was at the top and now uh, we're here. I did about three to four pumps each band to to really get up in there. I love the experience so far with it. Smoothed it out them knots, made this go quickly. My hair was very dry, very knotted up towards the ends especially. Um, those one strand knots that you really want to be careful with because they'll rip out your hair. It got that out with ease. It was a great detangler. I know it's not meant to be detangler necessarily, but it, it did that. Really quick, if you made it this far, I hope you like and subscribe because you're already vibing with your girl. And this is a channel that cares about growing our hair, having glowing skin at an affordable price. So if you're enjoying this video, like I said before, like, subscribe, comment down below, and keep watching. Let's peek at this very first one we did together though. See what it's looking like. If it, ooh, look at the coil. That's pretty. That says moisture is in the hair. Okay, looking like a styler is in my hair right now. This is so pretty and got my hair to look a little more vibrant. It was looking real dead before. So this is gorgeous. It's a great first step, a great first experience. So let's go ahead and reband to this and go wash our hair. Let's talk about the shampoo and conditioner I'm about to use and then I'll come back and just let you know after washing out what was my full experience with everything. Step two, we're going to be using the restoring shampoo. This moisturizes and nourishes, removes impurities and build up. So this is that purifying shampoo that I referred to in step one. The back just explains what the breakage defense system is formulated with and what it's supposed to do, which we talked about with the first one. Perfect for strengthening, chemically treated, transitioning, and natural hair textures. The directions for this is to use step one, the pre-treatment, the bond mender. Apply generous amount to adhere, massage into a lather, rinse thoroughly. And then after you rinse, you go in with three, which is the restoring conditioner. Moisturizes and improves appearance of dry, damaged strands. I am particularly excited to try this conditioner because I actually am in love with the Olaplex conditioner. It literally just soaks into the hair and melts all the knots. But at the same time, I am intrigued to see what type of experience I have with this Flex Breakage Defense Restoring Conditioner. We'll see. For directions with the conditioner, it says, apply a generous amount to wet hair, leave on for five minutes and rinse out. For deeper conditioning, cover hair with a conditioning cap and sit under a warm dryer or just leave on for 15 minutes. Rinse out and style as desired. The first time I used Olaplex, I just followed the instructions and left it in for three minutes and had that great experience I just talked about. So I'm just going to follow these instructions, leave it in for five minutes and see what type of experience I have. All right, y'all. Ten minutes has been reached. Let's go wash out our hair. Here's the end result. See that vibrancy? It came back to life. It woke my hair up. Look at them curls. They back. Hey baby loves, welcome back to the fiesta. If you're new here, my name is Keyshana Dupuy, and if you're not, uh -huh, you're loyal. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell down below. If you're interested in seeing weekly hair or skin, product reviews, tips, tricks, and advice, ah, 
Now let's just get it out the way. Y'all see this smile? I'm smiling for a reason. It's because this, this was bomb. Point blank, period. Go buy it. $30, don't even hesitate. Get it, okay? I can't speak for long-term use because this was my first try, so let's focus on the first try. I was pleasantly surprised by two things here. One, it smells amazing. It has a tropical scent to it. It gives me like a pineapple vibration and I love it. I love tropical scents for my hair products. Two, the slip that the restoring conditioner provided pleasantly surprised me and it was a great experience. Even the shampoo, my hair, it really didn't knot up too crazy with the shampoo. The conditioner though had me on silky. I did do it in sections and it came out beautifully. I'm gonna break it down a little better by each product just to really give you my final thoughts on everything. But that was my quick wham bam, ah, go get it kind of experience and reaction. Now let's break it down. This little goes a long way. It is better when you do it in smaller sections, not too tiny, but I, I started doing bigger chunks just to, cause it was going so fast. But I noticed that with the smaller sections, my hair felt softer. The little oil gel thing they got going on, yeah. The shampoo, as I said, smells amazing. It did not knot up my hair. It lathered beautifully. I did my hair sectioned in two. I just had a good experience with this. Like it, it was good. Especially because I had a bad experience with a product and I had a bunch of white flakes. The scalp is clean, child. I had no issue washing out the pre-treatment. This is a really good gentle cleansing shampoo. Um, the first one, I focused only on my scalp. The second one, I did wash all the way down just to make sure that the treatment was all the way out. And I had a great experience. It's clean. It feels good. My hair feels lightweight. It's moving. It's not weighed down in the slightest. And last but not least, this conditioner, it had the same yummy smell. Once I did small sections and made sure my hair was fully soaked with water, my hair didn't react instantly, it had a gray slip. When I'm applying conditioner, I like to make sure I detangle again just to get out all those knots so that when I get to this part of styling, look, finger comb, no issue. My hair was just soaking it all up. I twisted it up, let it sit for those. It wasn't five minutes, it was 10 minutes. Great experience, okay? So, and just to show you, both of these are white products. That's exactly how it looks, that little creamy white pearl-like. It has like a pearl-like color. And this one is just plain white. And my curls were really popping. They were nice and juicy. I just knew that when I looked at it, I was gonna love how it looked, and I do. My hair looks more vibrant, it looks shinier. It just looks like it, it's awoken again. It was revived with this process. And this conditioner did not work as fast as the Olaplex one, but it held its own. And now that I have taken it out, I can say this. My, the way my hair signals to me that it is enjoying a product is if it stays wet by the time I have get, gotten back to my room, excuse my eczema on my neck, but by the time I have gotten back to my room and take off the towel, if my end and my hair is still wet, damp, that's how I know that my hair truly enjoyed the product because it absorbed. This one, I feel pretty good about it, especially the colored part. We booming, y'all. It's a dupe, we have a winner. When I say that, I, I do say it a little lightly because Cream of Nature has its own thing going on. It is a bond treatment, so you can compare it that way. But in every other way, I feel like they're pretty different. I plan to keep on using it. If I can save some dollars, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> if you have any questions or have a product suggestion, especially if it is from Cream of Nature, because I've been really vibing with them lately, go ahead and comment them down below because if your idea is selected, you will get a shout out. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back soon. Ciao.